PKULife.tv is brought to you by PKU Perspectives. Hey everyone, I'm Kevin Alexander with PKULife.tv and today I'm with my dietitian, Kia Cravelli from Tulane University Medical Center. And today we're going to be talking about a phrase that you may or may not heard of, maternal PKU. Uh, so Kia, let's first start off very generically. What is maternal PKU? So maternal PKU is actually when a woman with PKU becomes pregnant, to put it simply. And so what I really want to just let everyone know is the importance of a woman with PKU being on diet um, and not only being on diet, but having her fee levels, her plasma fee levels in the range of really two to four milligrams per deciliter. So usually two to six is good treatment for, for PKU, but during pregnancy, women really need their levels even a little bit lower. Um, and so one thing that's really important is to plan pregnancies when, you ha when you're a woman with PKU. And so to be on diet and actually have your V levels in really good control before you get pregnant and throughout your whole pregnancy is the key to having a really successful one. One of the reasons why this, this topic is so important is um, if an expecting mother with PKU is not in control of her levels, can you please um, talk a little bit about what the consequences are, not just for the mother, but for the child as well? Yes. And so the consequences that we see, be, uh, the reason we see consequences, I should say, is because of the high fee levels in the mother's blood cross uh, through the placenta and through the baby in, into the baby's bloodstream and into the baby's brain as well. And so any levels that are high are going to be damaging to the baby and, and, and to the baby's brain. So some of the things that we see in, in pregnancies that have high fee levels are small babies, small heads, uh, heart defects, heart problems. Um, we can see malformations like cleft lip and palate. Um, we can see mental retardation. So, and this I want to emphasize is, is not because the baby has PKU. The baby um, most likely is not a you know, affected with PKU, but this is because of the high fee levels in mom during the pregnancy. And again, this is not just if a mother with PKU is having a child who happens to have PKU. This is any child. Yes, this is a separate issue and yeah, important in each pregnancy. Um, is there anything about the uh, PKU lifestyle? Um, does anything else change? for the mother, like if, you know, if she's pregnant and all other aspects of the PK lifestyle, um, what about, uh, you know, if she's already receiving treatment, if she's doing well, if her levels are under control, I think you kind of already mentioned this before when you talked about the levels and the range of levels, but is there anything else that for a woman who is healthy and in control of her levels, anything else that changes during her pregnancy? So, like I said, it's important to keep the levels even a little bit lower. Between two and four milligrams per deciliter is ideal. Um, some other things, we may need to adjust formula. We may need to increase the total amount of fee-free protein from formula that the mother gets just because requirements are greater during pregnancy. Um, there may be additional blood tests and definitely additional monitoring by uh, maternal fetal uh, specialist an OBGYN during the pregnancy. There's probably going to be a lot more frequent uh, monitoring and ultrasounds and things like that than you would have in, in a, a typical pregnancy. Now, it's important for anyone who's off diet, anyone, to get, you know, to get back in the routine of, of their treatment, but it's extremely critical for someone who's pregnant. Um, what should an off diet expecting mother do um, to, you know, to help make sure that she gets the best treatment possible? So call your dietitian, call your clinic, right? As soon as, as soon as you even may think, oh, maybe I'm pregnant, please call your dietitian. And a lot of times um, this doesn't happen. And I think it's because we, are, you know, since our patients, you know, be, become teenagers, we begin telling them how important it is to, you know, plan your pregnancies and come to clinic and be on diet. That I think sometimes people feel guilty. People, you know, feel, scared and worried that we're going to be mad at them and we're not so don't think your clinic's going to be mad at you don't think that they're going to you know make you feel bad um 
we're just here to help. And the earlier that you can come in and see us, as soon as you find out you're pregnant, that's the, that's the, best, the best time to, to help your baby. What kind of conversation should an expecting mother have with her OBGYN to make sure that she receives you know, coordination of care so that they understand how critical it is? Yes, so most OBGYNs may have never heard of PKU or they may have just heard a mention of maternal PKU. So it's really important to connect your OBGYN with your PKU clinic and, the, and your dietitian so that they can explain and answer any questions that OBGYN has and also to just make sure that they're communicating your levels and anything that's going on with your PKU with the OBGYN. It's also really important to have a maternal fetal medicine specialist along with your, your OBGYN. Um, what resources are there out there, um, you know, whether it's on websites or other things that uh, someone can download and help understand this issue and potentially prepare if they are pregnant? So there are some really good resources at the National PKU Alliance website, mpkua.org. Um, there's my PKU binder, and there's a section specifically for maternal PKU that's really helpful. Another resource is called PKU Toolkit, and if you Google PKU Toolkit, you can find that, and that has a really good resource section for maternal PKU as well. Yeah, I've read through my PKU binder, and I highly recommend it, not only for the maternal PKU section, if that's something that you're um, focused on right now, but read the entire binder. It really does have a lot of uh, very good uh, tips and advice. And thank you, Kia, for joining me today. And uh, don't forget uh, to visit my website, pkulife.tv, um, and leave a comment or uh, perhaps email me a story idea. You can look at the top of the page of the website and see my contact information. Also, don't forget, if you're not following me on Facebook and Twitter and you'd like to, my Facebook page is facebook.com slash pkulife.tv, and I'm on Twitter at PKU Life TV. See you next time.